Okay, our simple source server sync model shows how easy it is to build a very simple model. Now we're going to turn our attention to a little more complex model. In this case, our, our system consists of two different types of entities. And they come into the system at different rates. Then they move on to accumulated conveyors. And each accumulated conveyor moves at a different rate and merges together into, onto a slower conveyor. So we have two different conveyors cr basically trying to shove entities onto a slower moving conveyor. Those then move to a server. After being processed by the server, they go into an output queue and wait to be picked up by a cart. And the cart will pick up either one or two items, depending upon how many are available, and then carry them to the sink. Again, this model is relatively small, but it's got a lot of complexities. The merger of the conveyors and the transporter behavior are both relatively complex things that are difficult to model in many systems. To build this model, the first thing we're going to do is to place the objects to represent our two different types of entities that move through the system. So we'll place an item 1, and we'll place an item 2. And we'll select item 1, and we'll pick a different color for it. So we'll pick a color magenta for the first one. And then we'll pick a color, let's say, uh, blue for the second one. Okay, now, now that we have our two entities placed, we'll, we're going to place down two sources. that represent the arrivals for these different types of entities. The first source will create entity types 1, and so we'll come over here to what's called the property grid to set the properties for these objects, and we'll select the entity type to create to be item 1. We're also going to set the arrival time we're going to change from an exponential mean of 1 to an expo exponential mean of 4. We'll do the same thing with the second source, only we'll have it create entities that are type item 2. And again, we'll change the mean and arrival time. So these two sources are now going to create entities of each of the two different item types. And the next thing we'll do is we're going to place a merge point down with a what's called a basic node, which, which models the, an intersection between multiple links. And then we're going to draw a conveyor from the output of each of the sources into the merge point. Next, we'll place our server down. And then we'll draw a conveyor from the merge point into the server. Now, the properties of the conveyors, we're going to set through the property grid, like, just like we did with the sources. And here, we're going to set the speed of conveyor 1 to be 5, we'll set the speed of conveyor 2 to be 4, and after the merge point, we'll have the slower conveyor going only 3. Now on the server, we're going to change some of the properties on the server. First of all, on the server, we're going to make the input buffer have a capacity of 1. And we do that through, again through the property grid. So we change the default input buffer from infinity to 1. So what that means is that the server can only hold one entity in its input buffer at a time, and any other arriving entities will accumulate on the conveyor.